In this problem we have various functions and we have to determine if they are even, odd, or neither. So first recall uh, what it means for a function to be even and what it means to be odd. So I'll go ahead and write it up here. f is even. This basically means that when you plug in negative x into your function, you just get back f of x. And this has to be true uh, for all x. So this is for all x in the domain of the function. So even functions eat negative signs, and these tend to be symmetric uh, about the y-axis. They always are. Odd functions, so f is odd. Basically, if you plug in uh, minus x into the function, you get minus the actual function, so minus f of x. And this is for all x, so that's what it means for a function to be odd. So basically, it's like the minus 1 factors out. Um, odd functions are symmetric about the origin. So in this problem, we just have to answer all of the questions. We don't necessarily have to prove that the functions are even or odd. We just have to uh, determine and give some type of justification. So let's go ahead and do each one. Let's go ahead and start with uh, this one here. So I'll go ahead and give it a name. I'll call it f of x equals sine x squared. And just to directly test the definition, uh, all we would have to do is replace um, x with minus x. So this is f of minus x, and this is equal to sine of, and then this is minus x squared, right? You just replace the x with minus x. And when you square uh, negative x, uh, you just get x squared. It eats the negative sign because x is even. So you would just get x squared. But this is what you started with, right? This is equal to f of x. And what we just did is true for all x. So f of negative x is equal to f of x. And this holds for all x. So this one is going to be even. So this one here is even. If we look at the next one, um, sine squared of x, I'll do it here. Let me make my marker a little bit skinnier. There we go. We've got f of x equals sine squared x. Well, if we plug in minus x into this function, we would get, let me write it like this, sine of negative x quantity squared. That's the same thing. This is shorthand notation for sine squared. Sine is an odd function. So this is something that you need to know in order to do uh, this example. That means it has this property here where the negative just comes out. And then because we're squaring the negative, we just get sine squared. But this is what we started with, so this is just f of x. So in this case, it's also even. Okay, this one's also even. Let's look at this one here, um, sine x plus cosine x. So if we call it f of x, and we replace x with negative x, we would get sine of negative x plus cosine of negative x. So sine is odd, so that becomes negative sine x. But cosine is an even function, so this is just cosine x. So in this case, we don't get f of x. And we also don't get negative f of x. If we had negative f of x, we'd have to have a negative on the cosine also. So this one would be neither. Again, not a proof, just uh, a brief, brief explanation. These here will all be odd because the exponents are odd. If you think about it, whenever you plug in negative x into something that's being raised to an odd power, you're always going to get a negative on the outside. So all of these will be odd. Okay. Likewise here, all the exponents are even, so these will all be even. And again, same thing. If you plug in negative x into any of these, when you square it, the negative is going to go away, so it's even. Let's go ahead and do tangent. I'll do it down here. So say we're looking at f of x equals tangent of x. So we start by replacing x with negative x. So it's f of negative x. And this is tangent of negative x. But what is tangent? It's sine over cosine. So this is sine of negative x, going kind of fast, over cosine of negative x. And sine is even, so we can pull out the negative 1 in the numerator. So we get negative sine x. 
sorry, sine is odd, <laughs> so we can pull out the negative in the numerator. Cosine is even, so we get cosine x. <laughs> I misspoke. So this is negative 10x. Oh, look at that. So this is negative f of x. So we have f of negative x equals negative f of x. And this is true for all x. So in this case, we see that it's odd. So I'm going to go ahead and write odd up here. So this one is odd. What about the hyperbolic tangent? Let's go ahead and do that one. So we have f of x equals tanch of x. All right, well, what is tanch of x? It's, it's sinh of x over cosinh x, right? Sinh over uh, cosinh. Sinh over cosinh. Sinh over cosinh, misspoke. Sinh over cosinh. So in this case, we can write these uh, using their actual definitions. Sinh is half the difference. It's e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. And cosinh is e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2. We can simplify this if we like. Uh, we can basically write this as just cleaning it up before we plug in uh, negative x. e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. And when you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal. So it's 2 over e to the x plus e to the negative x. The 2's cancel. And so we end up with this expression uh, for our hyperbolic uh, tangent function. Okay, so now if we plug in uh, negative x, we get e to the negative x minus, and then it's already negative here, so it's going to be plus. So it's e to the x over e to the negative x plus, it's already negative here, so we just get e to the x. Okay, so now what we can do is we can pull out a negative 1 in the numerator and write it like this, e to the x minus e to the negative x is really clever over then on the bottom we can rearrange the terms because addition is commutative so e to the x plus e to the negative x and now you can see that this piece here is the same as this piece here so this is negative tanch x so this shows that it's odd so the hyperbolic tangent is odd and we did that without using any knowledge of hyperbolic sine or cosine other than the definition. Um, the last one is pretty easy. Uh, g of x, I'll call it g, let's be different. ln of 1 plus e to the x minus x over 2. And again, we're trying to see if it's even odd or neither. Well, in this case, I think it's going to be neither, but let's, let's work it out. If we plug in negative x, we get ln 1 plus e to the negative x. And then this will become plus x over 2. Now, I'm tempted to say neither, but I, let's keep going. I mean, you, you never know, right? So this is equal to, pretty sure it is neither, though. ln 1 plus 1 over e to the x plus x over 2. And we can write this as ln. Uh, we can think of 1 as e to the x over e to the x. So this is really e to the x plus 1 over e to the x plus x over 2. You know, and I am skipping some steps in this video and I'm going fast. This is a little bit more high level than, you know, uh, I'm, I'm doing these under the assumption that you've seen some of these functions before, like you've seen the exponential function, you know what hyperbolics are. Um, so here we can use the property of logs that says that you can do this. The fraction turns into subtraction. Oh, look at this. This is really beautiful because this is x. So this gives you ln. 1 plus e to the x minus x plus x over 2. So this is ln 1 plus e to the x minus x plus x over 2 is minus x over 2. So this is uh, g of x. So this is actually an even function. Wicked. Did not expect that. So sometimes you don't know until you try. So just a, a video on even and odd and you know, the functions here are not typically what you would see in like a college algebra course or something. That's typically when you first learn this. Uh, this is actually from, um, it's, this is from an engineering book. So I uh, hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who's actually, you know, working on stuff like this. Good luck.